Happy Saturday everyone. Well, I've just jotted down a few words at what I see before me. This perfect aesthetic, this white and cream, this elegance and grace. And for the first time ever, we see Harry and Meghan align with the actions and behaviours and the reality of what they wanted to achieve. So this letter too is being placed out there. It's my thoughts and my opinions only. A people, a person, not a journalist nor an expert, just someone who watches on in dismay, in shock, in horror with a platform so big and they tuck it this direction and this way, their way. We see you in a nice outfit, your pretty woman moment, some may say, but then we see you in a nice outfit and still look at you the same way. And it dawned on me, a person you have become, where all the diamonds in the world could not outshine the frustrations the people have for you in their minds. This humanitarian feminist who clings onto her husband's arm for dear life, his name and family, for this you had down in your bio as an achievement in your lifestyle. Playing the role of independence from time to time for when it suits, for when the audience needs, for when I believe you need to feed. This humanitarian style you also narrate with this contradiction to that yet again. We see you and your aesthetic placed in the backdrop of your choosing. The crisp elite, this is your real scene. It's not in a place where you can save or help, not where you can show your support and awareness to a cause. It's far from the days of Diana and Landmines. It's this, your cause captured in an elegant cream and him in his crisp white. For nobody can touch us and neither should we get our hands dirty or even try. For I am above all and everyone else, for I am worth it. But these contradictions you act out against your words make all feel a tad confused. An impeachment of yourself, a character trait gone wrong if nothing else. Maybe for Harry, Diana and a charitable work set the bar so high. Expectations were placed which he did not want to follow and take. Maybe in fact the shadow of his mom was so great when actually that need for fame and the elite was his real dream. For I can't knock him for being a real humanitarian is not like work. And as I can see here, he doesn't want this. And neither to get his hands in the dirt, so it seems. The polo, a niche area that only the wealthy would know. That only a selective few will play. For affordability and accessibility to all is not a trait of this sport. And that's a fact. But this picture does capture a direction. It may be captured for the first time what you really are about, and that's yourselves. It's your luck in a backdrop of grand as your mansion. It's placing you in circles that only the rich can feel, and that's okay, but speak that to the world. Tell them this is my life, I can do what I want. We want the luxury and finery. We want to do us and live in a life of exemplary. We do not care to spend our lives dedicating our platform to all we don't want to work so hard at shining a light on another. We don't care about anything else but me, myself and I, but even with that, it would make it easy to follow. I, myself, not so much for the reality to the pain you caused, I would never look up to without feeling such horror. But stop with trying to project all of this kindness you are. Stop taking names of humanitarian and honor. Stop dining out on a legacy she gave in a pretense you want to carry on in the same way. Stop preaching to the world about friendship and family for your actions defeat you. They do not speak with you, only against you. They do not align for you had a platform so big and an extension of giving so great like she did. You could have actually tackled subjects to help another and gave humanity to someone else who needed. Like working with children who had lost a mother. All the ones who have to rely on a GoFundMe to say their last goodbyes. All those boys that are dealt with the same blow as you in their younger lives. Or Megan, you too. All the little girls who feel differently based on their skin colour. For this is a real, this is a tough battle and many will carry. You both have the ability to create so much, but it all boils down to this. A backdrop of bright blues and greens, the lavish and the elite, and this is where you really want to be. This we now see.
not a backdrop of sadness and pain for someone else, where you could have maybe provided a get out, not a scene of shining a light and taking the cameras to them for others to learn the real cost in how people don't understand the price they pay. We see you both stood against a backdrop of clean and spoiled, not broken, and the well spoken. We see you placed in a scene of maybe the most British high society place you can be, as you use your platform to place the cameras on this, to let the people see this and capture this world that they don't see. But here is where I believe no amount of diamonds can outshine the disconnect from the people to you. For in the real world, people do not care to see this. They live in a real world of missing possibilities. This is why they have struggled with your truths and in the way you made them. They struggle with this lack of integrity in how your whole brand is about bringing down institutions and being of the modern era, yet see you solidly place yourself in a place above with the people below, and now you choose to make this your show for Polo is not without cost. The facilities mean wealth is a necessary factor. Polo clubs and tournaments often exude an air of elegance and exclusivity. For this is the reality to who you are. This is what you want to encompass and that's okay. But be that, stop with the trying to speak to all else what you are. For I think these pictures and all your choices since walking away. Speak exactly to that. There is something about authentic, even with wealth, that is a connection with simply being yourself. You can't narrate a humble and down to earth way when this is the lane you choose to remain. I speak this only as a person and people, not a journalist, neither an expert. Just sharing my opinions on all this absurd in how you hated how wrong it was but he was placed second best, yet you place yourself better than the rest in a visual picture and representation of an elite circle that only a certain few can invest in.